So I have over 4,000 hours of Nuzlocke experience, and I'm always looking for new and interesting games to try out. So one of my Twitch mods actually made a game called Pokemon Vintage White, which is a really, really hard ROM hack of Pokemon White. Not only does it make every fight a lot harder, it also changes a lot of Pokemon. So it's a lot like a traditional Dryano hack, or maybe even Kaizo hack in that regard, but there's a little bit of a twist. Pokemon Vintage White only has Pokemon from generations 1, 2, and 3, and instead of having a lot of Pokemon, just aims to make all the Pokemon that are in the game extremely viable. Most bad Pokemon have a lot of buffs to make them more powerful, there's a lot of type changes, and certain moves are buffed as well. But I didn't just try to Nuzlocke this game, I tried to hardcore Nuzlocke it. Next to the normal Nuzlocke rules of only catching the first Pokemon that I encounter on every route, and a Pokemon being dead if it faints, I play on set mode, I don't use any items in battle, I don't overlevel the next gym leader, and additionally, I also don't use any setup moves like Sword Dance or Dragon Dance. If you like this type of technical Nuzlocke content, I upload it all the time, consider subscribing. It's right there, just scroll down and click it. You probably think you're subscribed, but if you scroll down right now, it's actually not, you're actually not subscribed. Whoa. That was a crazy moment right there. Damn, let's click it. So my first attempt I picked Mudkip because it's the old reliable. You always know it's stable and blue and just extremely versatile. And you know what else is reliable, stable, versatile, and blue? The sponsor of today's video, NordVPN. NordVPN has 5,200 plus different servers in uh, 59 different countries. You can connect to all of them super blazing fast. They don't have any data logging, and you can use it not only to secure your privacy online, but also to help you watch movies and TV shows that aren't available in your country. Uh, just connect to a different server, connect to your favorite streaming service, and you have a lot more content available to you. There's a 30-day money-back guarantee on it if you really don't like it. They have 24-7 customer support. Uh, the CyberSec suite adds as an ad blocker, and you get a faster connection using Nord Links. So you might not need a VPN right now, just like you don't need a Mudkip every run, but sometimes you do need one. You do need that water ground type. Maybe you are traveling in public and you're trying to pr protect yourself from unsafe Wi-Fi connections. Think of your boy, Pokemon Challenges, nordvpn.com slash Pokemon Challenges, or coupon code Pokemon Challenges when you're signing up. Get a discount and help me out. Thank you so much for NordVPN for sponsoring today's video, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So after picking up Mudkip, I pick up a Tinted Lens Hoot Hoot, a free gift Ponyta, and an Intimidate Ekans joins my team as well, and I'm off to fight the first trainer. Except the very first trainer in this game has a Rattata with adaptability, which makes it do just insane amounts of damage. Just watch this. Okay, so this is probably going to be some hustle shit, right? This might be the death of Ponyta. Unlucky. Crit! Oh, I think I live. Nope. Oh, this is adaptability? <laughs> That's pretty unfair. Unlucky on the pony to death seeing how there's a grass gym coming, but... You know how it is. So after my first death, I fish up a Squirtle and run into these two goddamn monsters over here. This lass and this youngster. Okay, that's not a good Pokemon to lead with Ekans into. Mm. Do I switch? Yeah. Squirtle's got that spadef, baby. I think I'm dead to crit self hit. Yep. Okay, back to Hoot Hoot. Oh my god. Don't do this to me. 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 <sighs> We're not looking good here, chat. Damage. I think we actually lose, huh? Jesus Christ. It's huge power, isn't it? Okay, let's get the Intimidate in. That's fine. Do I want to glare? Is glare still... Oh, it's 100 accuracy in this game. I definitely want to glare. I think I want to glare and rat, uh, glare and bite. Go for the pair of flinch. Okay, interesting. Just gotta keep um, intimidate in mind for the quick calculation. It's not times two; it's times uh, three. Are you serious, dude? 
Never mind. Flinch. That works. And we're fine here. I think next crit, next turn crit will kill. But yeah, we got this. Dude, Ekans kind of broken though. All right. Oh wait, there's a third Pokemon. I thought it was just two. I'm gonna glare this again. It feels super worth it with 100 accuracy. Okay. There's no good switch. I just gotta hope for Para Flinch. Nice. Very nice. Okay. What the f Chill! 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 Oh my god. Dude, Ekans did so well too. Unlucky. This game's hard. This game is f***ing hard. I know that this guy was pretty troublesome in Volt White. Let's see if we can get past him here. Um, Water Gun. Jesus f***ing Christ. I'm not playing around the crit now. I can't really afford to. Depending on what the other mon is. Rattata. It's adaptability Rattata again, isn't it? Jesus f Christ. I think I can only win if I mud slap. I think otherwise I probably wipe to this, right? Dude. <laughs> what the f <laughs> Alright, this is a fing hard game. I get it. I get it. I don't think I win if I don't hypnotize. Imagine dying to a mouse. Yeah, so the Rattata's of adaptability. So that headbutt was 140 base power. One tw so if two Echoed Voices is 120, which is more than 110. And I'm assuming I get two Echoed Voices in here, so I use that. Because I can only win if he sleeps two turns. Nice. Come on. I just need one more turn, baby! Nice. Hope you have a happy holiday. Play to my outs. Monkey time. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I see. So there's absolutely no reason to fight these two trainers, is what you're telling me. Very cool. I'm not gonna lie. It hurt a little bit that I lost like half my team coming here just to realize that the free monkey gift wasn't here anymore. But I'm sure I can bring this attempt back, right? Alright. Time to scoot our way into attempt two, I guess. Alright, leads Trico. F you, dude. The reed. Oh my god. It's okay, I one shot this. It's okay. I one shot this. Not even close. But I crit this. Watch, 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 watch. Jesus Christ. Come on, come on. I really need to high roll her crit. No, no. You stupid mother Why would you do this to me? Uh... That was a crit, by the way. Not that it matters. Um, I can't kill this. Uh... Oh, oh, okay! Yeah, whatever, dude. Okay, that's fine. We know what we're dealing with now. We absolutely know what we're dealing with. All right, fine, time for attempt two. I noticed Trico has Technician in this game, so I wanted to try that. It's one of my favorite abilities, after all. I'd catch a Zigzagoon, and the free Ponyta I got last run turns into a free Psyduck instead. I think I understand what happened to the monkey guy now. I catch a Talo, and my team suddenly has this certain emeraldy shine to it, don't you think? I fish up a Squirtle, catch an Abra, and try my hands at the Sharon fight again. For this attempt time, boys! Actually faster. God damn, look at that damage though! Psyduck! Ooh. I'm thinking adaptability. Okay, quick attack. Fucking Christ. Okay, nice crit. Jesus Christ. I'm plus defense, by the way. Oh, 
I am dead to crit. But anything I switch in is also dead to crit. I'll water gun. Okay. Oh, I thought I could live too. Fuck, I should have gone Trico first. <sighs> I gotta switch again. Uh, now if I get crit, I'm actually really in trouble. I don't see him clicking pound here. Yeah. Oh, I'm actually slower. Okay, I should have definitely Mega Drained. Okay! Got out of that with no deaths. Okay, that's not a grass type. A pseudo wudo in the first gym. Where have I seen this before? It seems so familiar. Oh, it's rock grass. Nice. It's a cradilly. I got nothing for that. This is not at all okay. Oh, yeah, that's that's definitely not okay. Hmm. Nice. I think Mega Drain might still be more damage. Interesting. The fact that I can't go back to Trico without risking a rock throw is really annoying. Dude, are you serious? Please just kill it. Oh, lovely. Absolutely lovely. I mean, he can't kill me at least. That's a pretty- I mean, like, honestly? The lava absorbing the water and it just vaporizing as you try to spray it? I can see it. I think that's a cool way to make Slugma viable. Nice. I'll scratch one more time and switch, I guess. Not much more to do. Although I could- I, could, I, sh I should disabled, I think. Yeah, that would have been the play for sure. Decent. Dude, really? Got him. I wasn't even looking at the screen. The pseudo is gonna like wipe me. I think I have to sack something to bring Trico into it. Cause like if I switch and I'm dead to two rock throws, there's no way I'd deal- I I'd kill with Mega Drain and I don't like any of the sacks particularly. I'm sending it. Actually, really good damage. I'm definitely dead here. Oh. Okay. The Slugma seems like you can deal with it. It doesn't do a lot of damage, at least. The Pseudo Wudo. I don't really know what I would do about that. Heavy losses, but after breezing past the first gym and leveling my Pokemon, I encounter Sharon again. And I lose my Kadabra to it. Yeah, I, th I think... I think that's... I think that's probably gonna be a wipe chat. Somehow, I managed to recover from this situation though, and I make it all the way to the end fight in... Nars... Narsery... Narkarin... Oh, it's a double battle. Is that a sun team? What the f***, bro? There's no drought. Untails doesn't have drought. Okay, I definitely want Vigoroth in here. I'll fake out the Arcanine. Okay. Alright, so I can't Encore this sunny day, unfortunately. But I can low sweep it to be slower than me, and then Encore it next time. It just cleans the weather out, right? That's actually not that terrible. I'm pretty sure I just slack off and switch back to Hariyama. I got this. Oh, it prevents the effects while on the field. Never mind. I thought I've never used Cloud9 before. Oh, he just boosted the Ninetales with Flash Fire. God damn, look at you. Yeah, that's sun boosted. What? That's a crit, actually. Unlucky, Vigoroth. Unlucky. I think we just want to try to take down the Ninetales now.
The fact that Vigoroth died there is really sad. It was gonna do work. So head about to kill the Ninetales and smack down the Arcanine. So much damage. Okay, Sun went away. Do I want to stay in with Hariam to kill the Arcanine? Probably not. Oh my god, it's another f Intimidate Mon. Flinch? That's really, really bad. That's so bad. Yeah, that's gonna kill. Oh, I feel right, transported right back to Emerald Kaizo with people suggesting that I use Fake Out on a turn after I switched in. Feels just like home. Swablu and Sing, I think. I kind of want to swap out the Hariyama to reset the Intimidate and get another Fake Out. Perfect. That's totally fine. Eviolet. Oh my god, dude. Brrr. I actually, I think I would have preferred to die there with Swablu, to be honest. Because then I could actually fake out the Arcanine and kill it. Well, low sweep hit on top is okay there, actually. Decent damage. Ho ho ho! Never mind. You did well, Swablu. You absorbed two hits for Growl. That's all I could ever ask for, to be honest. So if I low sweep now, I essentially flinch him next turn if I can kill him, which I think I can. So I'm just gonna low sweep both. That works. What the fuck, man? Okay. Oh, I'm slower. I'm lucky. It was a good attempt. This fight is tough. You definitely want to go like 26 for this. Got a lot of info. But I'm I'm trying, I think I'll try a Tortic Run. This game's difficulty curve is pretty insane. It seems like the fights just get harder and harder the more you go through the game. New attempt time though. It's time to try Speed Boost Torchic now. This time the gift guy gives us a Cacnea. Definitely the worst of the three gift Pokemon it seems like. And then I find this. Kecleon. Buffed stats, adaptability, and an insanely broken normal ghost typing. Anyway, here's every time I lost a Pokemon to a crit during this attempt. Alright, we need a high roll here, buddy. Good luck. Don't flinch. That also shouldn't happen. I'm thinking Combuskin. Is that the crit? What can you say, man? It's just, I, I just got outplayed, honestly. I honestly just got completely outplayed. Like, this kid was just better than me. Sorry. Oh, it's a f***ing thing. God damn it. Get the crit for sure. Yep. Cool. I'm staying in here. Fire rock, I guess. It's gonna hurt. Yeah, that is, that's, that's another crit. That's okay, dude. It's par for the course at this point, really. That's, it's just another crit. Nothing new. Got a lot of info. I'm feeling a Mudkip attempt, I'm not gonna lie. And then I lost another attempt at this forest. And then another attempt at the youngster in the first gym. And then came attempt six. I felt like my encounters were pretty medium overall, but we played a lot better, getting past the Pseudo Trainer, and Lenora, and the Forest Grunts. And here I was, faced with the third leader, Berk. Keep in mind, I'm playing this game completely blind at this point. I have no idea what team he has, and I have even less of an idea about this fight being a double battle. Here's how I dealt with that ambush. Oh, it's a double battle. Okay, I was not expecting that whatsoever, but I, I actually have the perfect lead for it. Interesting. Are these going to be part electric? Probably, right? I'm going to protect and snarl. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay, so we saw thunder and we saw psychic. I didn't see who used what. Oh, wait, we know because Iliumize got hit super effectively by snarl. Okay, so let's U-turn the Iliumize and just Snarl again. And then we need to switch into something that will take a th Ooh, that's a lot of damage. 
Should have flame wheeled. I, I I still like Grumpy because I can go back into Crobat on it. And I got Protect on uh, Grumpy as well. Yeah, I think we just leave the Volbeat alive now because it's minus two special attack. Yeah, and Mega. Interesting. Okay. Heal order. How cringe. That's fine. It's again minus two special attack. It's just not going to do that much. These are classic double battle strats where you weaken one side and then you just focus the other. I think I'll just snarl again to be honest. And then we can flame wheel wing attack the Yanmega next turn. Although maybe flame wheel this turn, snarl next turn would have been better, but. Oh. Not amazing, but not terrible. It'll probably protect this turn. So. Is it like compound eyes, or is it just gonna hit all these thunders naturally, or? I think we'll do one more round of Protect Snarl, and then we'll focus the Yen Mega. God, Morning Sun on Arcanine would be insane. Wing Attack, I'm pretty sure is gonna kill. So I think I'm just gonna Snarl again. This is like really good that Volby keeps healing itself, so we can just Snarl it like infinitely. Citrus Berry, really nice. Super Clutch. Nice. Okay, Dustox. Do I even want to U-turn? Crobat like resists everything here and the Volbeat is like a non-issue. Only Thunder crit is like a problem. It might have Psychic for Crobat, right? We should probably scout for that. So let's protect and Snarl. And Snarl will like break multi-scale as well. It might Quiver Dance too. I got like the perfect setup for this double battle, dude. It's insane. These mons are so good for this. Okay. And we're slowly running out of HP on Arcanine. Oh, it's Black Sludge. Oh, that's not multi-scale. Really nice. Okay, I think let's just kill it. Wing Attack, Flame Wheel. Scizor. Arcanine should be faster. It's probably Akaberry, right? There's no way Suica would not give this an Akaberry. It's gonna rock slide too, I think. I think I'll protect and switch to Electrode. That's really risky, but it's insane if it works out, because I think Wing Attack plus Thunderbolt will kill. Yep, Lightning Rod, baby. Haha! <laughs> Holy sh. Okay, that's fine. I think we just kill it. Electrode kind of sweeps now, no? That's the first time it's used that. I was not expecting that at all. Oh, I might get so f***ed by this now. Oh my god, dude. Okay, we get one more shot. Thunderbolt will kill for sure. I have to hit here. I just have to risk it. I have to play for it. I don't see another shot. Okay, that's fine, actually. Could have used that the turn before, but... Nice. Actually hit it. Very good. Oh, you're just dead. It's probably, um... Which berry is it? I don't know what the flying reducing one is. Never mind. You're just dead. Okay, now just get Crobat out of Thunder Crit. Don't do it, man. This would be so f unfortunate. Okay, we're fine. That's okay. Just switch it out here. I played that so insanely well. Blind, didn't know it was a double battle. Deathless, first attempt. Holy sh Doubters? Doubters? I'm not gonna lie. I played that so f perfectly. I was over the moon at this point. We actually managed to get past this blind bird fight with zero deaths. This game has a lot of bullshit, but Vintage White is an extremely well-balanced and fun hack so far. I'm really looking forward to playing it more. 
If you want to see this run continue, consider subscribing to my daily highlight channel, PHL Daily, or follow me on Twitch. There's going to be more Vintage White videos on the main channel as well. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I suck at outros, so goodbye.